What's up guys, it's Brad from DBH Media here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how you can manipulate your stock footage to be able to use for multiple effects. More specifically, I'm going to be going over how you can use a dirt charge or dirt hit asset from Action Essentials to use as a gritty blood hit. So let's get started here. So here's our basic After Effects composition. This is a video I shot probably uh, seven years ago maybe. I shot this on my old camera, the old little camcorder. And uh, what it was, this guy's about to attack the guy on the ground here, and right before he gets to him, he gets blasted away. So right here we have kind of a basic blood hit. As you can see, it's not really uh, super realistic. We're gonna see if we can spice it up with the uh, dirt charge asset that's not normally used for a uh, blood type effect. We're gonna drag, drag over dirt charge number six from Action Essentials, just on top of our composition. And we'll go ahead and position it according to the way our guy is getting shot. Something like that. It's not bad. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our mask tool. I'm going to kind of cut around the edges here. So we're not getting that this flat edge here. Get a little more realistic edge and then what we're going to do is we're going to feather the mask. Kind of basic techniques here. We'll go to 22. Something like that. Yeah, that's kind of the idea at first. So now that we have our dirt charge looking like it's a bullet hit, now we're going to manipulate the colors so it looks like it's blood. So this is a very basic technique. You just go to color correction, curves, and we're going to also add the color correction hue and saturation effect. Okay, so first let's play around with the curves. Let's go ahead and darken it down a little bit. And we'll go to red, the red channel on the curve setting. We'll just increase the red channel a little bit. And we'll go back to RGB, darken it down some more until we get something like this. Then let's go to Hue Saturation, bring the Master Lightness down, along with the Master Saturation, something like that. Then we'll also play around with the Alpha Channel on the Curve setting. The Alpha Channel kind of tells you how dense the element can be in your scene. So if you increase your Alpha Channel all the way, it's super dense as you can see here. You bring it down. Um, it's uh, less prevalent of a hit. Um, so we can kind of do something like this. Um, again, I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial, so I'm not going to make it exact. Uh, but play around with these two settings to get an effect you want. You can also maybe we want to add a little bit of uh, blur to it to kind of blend it together. Blur and sharpen, fast blur. Um, but yeah, there you go. Play around with these settings to try to get like a, a realistic result. When I'm manipulating this dirt hit to be a blood hit, I usually use curves, hue, saturation. Sometimes I add a little blur to it. And you can also, um, if you really want to make it red, you can use the tint feature. And it's just uh, make the whole thing uh, super red, something like this. Uh, but yeah, as you can see here, here's our starting. Then we add the blood, then we add the dirt charge, looking a little more gritty there. Finally, if you want to blend everything together, you can add a uh, kind of some dust to the overall hit to kind of blend everything together. So get one of these powder hits, drag that on top of the dirt hit and the blood hit, uh, and then you can you can kind of play around with the colors of this one as well. So maybe you want to uh, make it a little bit more red. And sometimes it's okay to have this to be just kind of a light mist that's not red, but if you want to make it a little bit red, you can go to the uh, tint setting map white to kind of a red color and then decrease the amount that you tint something like this and then you can add another layer here add another curve setting bring it down a little bit hue saturation bring down the lightness bring up the alpha bring down the saturation to kind of get something like that there you have it for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to cut this video short in general this is just a tutorial show you can manipulate stock footage, manipulate you know dirt, uh, dirt elements, smoke elements, any kind of stock footage element that you have. You can manipulate the colors in a way to make it fit something that it wasn't originally designed for. So be creative, find new ways to uh, use your assets and get a unique result. Anyway, that's it guys. Hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. I'm going to get back to you as soon as I can. The GBS Media Facebook page is in the description below if you want to like it there to get the latest updates. Feel free to do so. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.